Hey, good morning. Chris here with Jarvis Outdoors. Out at the farm today and uh, I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm going to try turkey hunting. So uh, a lot of the Jarvis Outdoors team members uh, turkey hunt. It's something I've personally never done. So I'm out at the farm today and I'm going to pattern my shotgun uh, for turkey hunting. First time I've ever done this. So uh, we're going to start at 10 yards and go to 20, 30 and then maybe out to 40 and see how the gun does. Uh, we're going to start with a uh, cheaper uh, lead turkey ammo. Uh, before I go to the uh, the TSS stuff um, just because that stuff's so expensive. So uh, we're, Like I said, we're gonna start here at 10 yards and see the, the target behind me So uh, we'll try that out and then we'll uh, see how it does First shot's going to be at 10 yards. Uh, got the 12 gauge. We're starting with uh, three inch just lead uh, 12 gauge turkey ammo. So uh, we'll see how the pattern is on this first shot. from here at 10 yards uh definitely a dead turkey i'll take you down and show you what we got so we're here at the target don't make fun of my drawing never said i was a good drawer so uh we were 10 yards and i don't know if you can see it but my x is right there and uh the pattern held pretty uh pretty tight there and uh, i definitely say that was a dead turkey so it was point of impact was almost right where i was aiming so uh, we'll go ahead and hang a new target and we'll move back uh, to 20 yards and see how that goes. So back at 20 yards now, uh, we'll take a shot, same load, three inch Remington uh, turkey load and uh, see how it does. That's another dead turkey. I'll take you up to the target. So here we go. This was our target at 20 yards. Uh, point of impact or point of aim right here in the center. Um, you can see it kind of maybe held just slightly to the left here, but uh, if this was the turkey's head, neck, and uh, head and neck there, uh, definitely be a dead turkey. So uh, we're going to move back to uh, 30 yards and see what we do. So we're going to try 30 yards now. Uh, Got a new target hung, same three inch Remington turkey load. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot and see how this goes. Looks like another dead turkey. So now we're out to 30 yards uh, and I don't know if you noticed in the video, uh, I'm not using a gun with a, uh, a scope or a red dot sight on it. It's just open sights. And uh, so 30 yards, it might be a little harder to, uh, to um, you know, get a, a good bead on it. Uh, Cause you can kind of see this group kind of trended a little more up and to the right, which totally could have been me. But if this was still my point of aim, which would have been on the neck of the turkey and this was the head area, uh, another dead turkey. So plenty in the neck, plenty in the head. So we'll go ahead and hang one more target and uh, go out to 40 yards and see how that does. Here we are, 40 yards. It's gonna be our last shot. Uh, really happy with 10, 20, and 30. So uh, with open sights like this gun has, like I was saying before, uh, the point of aim might be a little more difficult the further you get out. So uh, I know at 10, 20, and 30, we'll have dead turkey. So let's see how 40 goes.
hard to tell, but it looks like a dead turkey. So you can see at 40 yards, we're getting out to probably about the max efficiency of uh, that round and that gun with open sights. But point of aim, and I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, about 17 pellets that would be in the head and neck region. So uh, I think we'd be safe taking a shot out to 40 yards, but much past 40, uh, I think we've reached the maximum effective range of this gun and that load. So uh, we'll take you back and show you the targets. Hey, good afternoon. So we're back in the shop and I wanted to go over these targets uh, a little more in detail, a little more uh, controlled environment. I know that last section of the video, I was out of frame, I was filming myself. So I wanted to go over these targets where you could see them a little better, maybe hear me a little better. So um, this is our 10 yard target and I use it as a backer uh, for the whole um, uh, test there. But uh, you can see, uh, this is my first shot at 10 yards. Uh, and I know I showed a, an up close in the other uh, uh, part of the video there, but uh, right here uh, is actually, uh, there was an X that I had put on, on the turkey's neck. Like I said, don't make fun of my drawing. Uh, but my point of aim would have been right here at 10 yards and my group held together almost as a solid uh, projectile and hit right here at 10 yards. You can see that the, uh, the wad hit down here on the target. So. This was my 10 yard shot, and obviously um, with a group like that at 10 yards, uh, there's definitely no, uh, no question of whether this would have been a dead turkey or not. So let me set this down here and I'll show you the other target. So um, this uh, our, was our next target. We moved out to 20 yards. And uh, once again, I said I was using, uh, the gun I have is a Stoger uh, pump. Um, like I said, just getting into turkey hunting. And that gun was originally, uh, was my, is my goose gun. That's what I use for goose hunting. Um, so uh, just going with what I got, I bought a Carlson choke tube for it. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to that if you'd like to purchase uh, one of those. But um, you can see with the open sights, this group, um, if this was my point of aim, it kind of slightly trended a little low and left. But overall at 20 yards, it was still pretty centered here and um, once again, another dead turkey. If this is my point of aim, you know, on the neck just below the head, uh, no question whatsoever that that's a dead, uh, a dead bird. So um, our next target, we moved out to 30 yards and still um, point of aim was here um, and my group trended up and to the right. So uh, once again, open sights totally could have been me However, at 30 yards, um, if this was my point of aim on the neck, just below the head, um, there's 20 or 30 pellets in this little area right here, um, which would be in the, the neck and head region of the turkey. Once again, no question, a dead bird. So once we get out to our next target at 40 yards, um, this is where it kind of uh, gets a little uh, more iffy, so to speak. So I think I've kind of reached the maximum uh, effective range of that gun with that choke tube and those uh, those uh, rounds, which like I said, are the three inch uh, Remington, uh, just normal copper plated turkey loads. So um, still good enough to kill a turkey for sure. But um, what you can see here, um, looking at this, I think my group trended slightly low. Um, so, uh, if I took a second shot at 40 yards, I think I would have held a little higher and I think I would have ended up with some, uh, some more pellets, um, on the target at that point. But still, once again, uh, point of aim, um, if this was aimed, you know, on the neck, just below, uh, the head of the turkey, there's plenty of pellets in here to do the job. So I counted them up total. I think there's 22, uh, pellets in that so to speak, kill zone. So um, would have killed the turkey, yes. Um, but, you know, I know that I will have to aim slightly higher if I get a turkey out there to 40 yards, but I still think it's gonna be a dead bird. So, um, you know, but you can definitely see that the group kind of trended low here. So, but overall still pleased, like I said, it's new to, uh, new to me. Um, 
a lot of the Jarvis Outdoor guys already hunt turkey, have already killed turkeys, but uh, they finally convinced me uh, to get into it, and it's something that I want to do. So we're going to try it out, but I got to know what my equipment's going to do. I've never done this before, so that's why I'm out here, uh, you know, patterning this shotgun, and and I, I'm pleased with it. I think I can go out there and kill a turkey, So uh, and, and I think I can do it effect, effectively. Excuse me. Um, so, you know, really happy with the results of, of this test, you know, just a quick, uh, a quick test, you know, pattern in the gun, you know, nothing special here, but I think we were able to achieve the result that, uh, that I was looking for. So, um, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It definitely helps us out. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and, uh, hit the little notification bell down there. If you'd like to be notified when we upload new content, I'm going to try and uh, get back on uh, doing more uh, frequent videos for you guys. So um, you can also follow us on Instagram at Jarvis underscore outdoors, uh, or you can check out our blog or our website at www.jarvisoutdoors.com. So really appreciate you watching. We're going to get out there and do some turkey hunting and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be successful. So, uh, you know, might have some beginner's luck. So uh, thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe.